how to add a product slider on your shopify store hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can add a product slider on your shopify store so having said that let's just jump into the video now over here as you can see this is the product slider right here and as you can see click on the button and it slides all the products it's very nice and very smooth so in this video i'm going to show you how we can add that right so let's get into it so now I have removed the product slider so now we are good to go now i'm going to show you step by step how you can do that so first things first once you've signed up once you're on your dashboard uh you're going to need to add some products to be displayed of course i've added these products and i'm using the uh deezer's application to add these products which is right over here so if i open it up i can go ahead and add and import different products from here so let me just show you how easy it is to add different products with this uh, method now uh, this is just a you know tutorial so you don't have to do this but you can you know pretty much do this and add any you know products so let's say i'm adding this product right here and it should be imported right let's go ahead and find some other ones let's go into fitness niche over here and find some fitness products like one or two and then we can move on but yeah so let's go ahead and add this one and this one and now since it's added into our import list we can go ahead and import these products so these were the three products that we selected let's go ahead and import them and we'll just simply click on push to shore push to store and also publish to the online store and we'll just simply click on publish to store all right so now that our products has been imported now let's go back to the store and see over here reload this page and here we go all, so all the products are here so once you have your products you can easily create a slider to showcase all of your products because if you don't have any products it's going to be an empty slider nothing on it it's going to look weird that's why we have to add some products so now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto the left side and in store and underneath sales channels on online store just simply click over here and then it's going to look something like this then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto action and just simply click on it and then you can just simply click on edit code and once you're over here we're good to go then what you're going to do is just scroll down onto the left hand side and go into the sections option over here click on sections and it's going to open up a bunch of different options then just simply click on add new section and over here what you're going to do is you're going to type product dash slider type it exactly as this don't give it a space put the dash in instead of the space if you put a space it's going to look weird it's not going to look good so always put dash instead of the space and then just simply click on create section then once the section has been created i think it already exists let me see over here forgot to delete it or here we go as you can see so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this file you know there we go now we can go ahead and create it i forgot to delete it so now we click on add new section we call it product dash slider over here remember no spaces only dash and then just simply click on create section and then we are good to go then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code that i have written over here you know it's a pretty long code don't worry it's going to be provided in the description below for you to check it out and you will also have this uh you know small little tutorial where to go go to the action then edit code then section and then create a product slider and then paste the code in there so we're going to go ahead and copy this code come back over here delete this existing code right and then just simply paste the code and then click on save file now once you've created it we are good to go then if we come over here and we view our store then if we come over here and view our store we're going to see we don't have the product slider as of yet because we're going to have to manually add that so go back to your store and click on customize option to open up the website editor tool and it's going to open up over here and then we could go ahead and start editing it out right and over here onto the left side you will see you have a bunch of different options uh click on add section at the bottom and you will see product slider right over here simply click on it and it'll be pasted right here now i'm gonna move it up at the top there we go move it over here there we go so that you know it's at the top just so that we don't have to scroll down at the bottom to see it now what we're going to do is we're going to click over here and as you can see product slider is selected then we just simply click on add product to card add product card a bunch of times like depending on how many products you want to showcase over here then just simply click on the product card come over here onto the right side click on select product and choose the product you want to showcase so let's select this product and click on select the product will be selected 
moving on select each of the products that you have and then you can just simply go ahead and showcase these products once it's been edited and added to your store so i'm just simply going to go ahead and fill this out select all the products over here and then one more because we have one more product but as i said before it all depends on you how many products you want to showcase so it'll look something like this but don't worry uh, it won't look this bad once it's updated so we'll just simply click on save and it's going to go ahead and update the process and now if you come over here as you can see it looks much better oh i accidentally added two of these products so let me just actually go ahead and delete this let me just remove the product there we go now it looks much better now we're going to simply reload it and save it there you go let me just remove that block there we go now it's removed we are now good to go now we just simply save it and you can also change it as well like number of card views in a row you can go with two card views you know make it a little bit bigger so that it looks much bigger and or three or four you know depending upon how many products you want to showcase so i think three looks good and then you can change the color of the pageant as well so if we choose white then you know the back is going to be white what if we choose red then it's going to be red over here as you can see these buttons so choose whatever color you want i think something a light lighter color or a darker color looks good something like this maybe like blue would look nice then you have the primary color as well so if you click on the primary color you know you can go ahead and choose that or you can go with the secondary color simply click on edit the band and then you can edit that band as well over here but yeah i think i'm just simply going to stick with white because it looks much better and then over here you can actually set the colors of the band so over here logos uh colors primary colors are going to be over here maybe like something white right and then contrasting color is that secondary color maybe we'll go with black just in case and we should be good to go then we'll just simply save and over here we save as well yeah now if we come over here onto our website right let me just reload it for you to see and boom here we go as you can see we have ourselves a product slider on our shopify store and it works really really well so we have all the products that we can see over here that we have added and people can go ahead and check them out so pretty simple Having said that, that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever, then let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to help you out in any way I can as soon as possible. And also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it. So having said that, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.